Content scripts are a very important concept in Chrome extensions because you can do a lot using content scripts. So what are they? Content scripts are basically files that run in the context of the web page. So they have the capability to make changes to the DOM on any particular web page. For example, you can change the font color of all H1 tags, you can add a hyperlink to all the anchor tags, or you can even rearrange the entire nodes in the DOM tree. So it is really up to you what you intend to do with content scripts. But there is a limitation though. Content scripts cannot use most of the Chrome APIs. So to fully utilize the potential of content scripts, we need to exchange messages between content scripts and the background scripts or pop-up scripts. So let's try to understand this better and also how we will be using content scripts for our page font style extension. So basically our extension is going to have a content script, an event page and pop-up script. Now the content script cannot show or highlight the page action icon, but it knows that the event page can highlight the page action icon. So what it does is the content script says, hey event page, I know you can highlight the page action icon, but I can't. So I'm going to send a message asking you to show or highlight the page action icon. Can you do that for me? And then the event page goes like, sure, I know content scripts run in the exact web page where the extension needs it to. So when I do get a message from you to show the page action icon, I'm going to show it. And similarly for pop-up scripts, for our extension, the user is going to specify a color in the popup.html. But the pop-up script knows that it cannot change the font style of any particular web page. But it does know that content scripts run in the context of the web page and can change the font style. So the pop-up script tells content scripts, hey content script, I know you can change the page font style and I can't, so I'm going to send you a message asking you to change the font style and I'll also send the color to which you have to change the font color to. Can you do that for me? And then the content script goes like, sure pop-up script, I know I can change the font style, just let me know. I'm gonna listen to your message and when I get that message, I'm going to change the font style. So this is the basic functionality of content scripts and messages. And you will better understand once we write the code regarding this. And the final thing that I want to talk about is the execution environment of content scripts. So content scripts execute in a special environment called isolated world. So they have access to the DOM of the web page, but not any variable or function created by that particular web page. And the reverse holds good as well. So the JavaScript running on a particular web page cannot access any variable or function that is defined in our content scripts. So let's say a button has a click event that is going to display an alert message and this alert message is defined both in the JavaScript of the web page as well as our content script. So in that case, both the alerts get called. There's no conflict. All right, with this understanding, let's create our content script. 